So we are exploring an area called the Forgotten Coast today. And this area is a gravel road. It's a turn off off the main highway. And about an hour down that gravel road, we get to this area called Bull Creek Reserve. It's supposed to have some beautiful, nice white sandy beaches, hidden coves, cracks, and some nooks and crannies to explore. Not sure if the geology of this area is conducive to sea caves though, and the water might be a little too murky for snorkeling today. I'm really hoping the sun comes out more to show that clarity of the water that we've seen up in Dunedin. It's trying to come out, it's a little cloudy though. So, oh, here's a little crack right here. All these baby mussels growing on the side. It's funny, I just watched a video that was about like one of the most expensive types of shellfish in the world and it was some type of special type of barnacle that they harvest in Canada. And I'm not positive, but I think these might be them. I'm not sure, I forget the name of it because these are mussels and then there's other barnacles, but then these are like, these are something different. That might be, I wish I had retained the name of those things, but they were like $700 per kilo or something like that for these particular type of barnacles that I guess they eat in fancy restaurants. sealed down there so we're gonna give him plenty of space. Antarctica, right over there. You can see massive temperature swings depending on which way the wind is blowing here in New Zealand. If it's coming from the, the north, you get the, the subtropical winds, nice warm wind. If it's coming from the south, you get those blustery cold Antarctic winds. Today it's actually not too windy at all. Watch out for this. This is the sign of a healthy ecosystem. All this bull kelp. When there's an imbalance, the sea urchins will actually eat the kelp and then it becomes like a dead zone and all you see are sea urchins and nothing else but this is a good sign. That means there's a lot of fish and a lot of other animals in this ecosystem. Whoa, look at this. Uh, oh, yeah, oh. <laughs> that looks like a head scraper. You know what I usually say in situations like this? Should have brought the helmet.
looks like a bit of a cave here. Right here. Oh, cool. Wow. Oh wait, is that a seal? Oh no, that's just my wife trying to get across the kelp. Nice technique, honey, nice technique. You got it, you got it, you're almost there. definitely see why they call this the forgotten coast there's definitely parts of it that have a very like almost Jurassic feel to it just otherworldly almost like you're on another planet some of these little nooks and crannies of these coves just the sea life and the kelp with the Sun poking through the water just feels like you're on somewhere not on earth. I don't know how to describe it. It definitely feels like a forgotten area for sure. Cool erosion formations here. You get a lot of unique erosion patterns on the uh, on the coast here, depending on the type of rock and um, like the minerals that are mixed in with it. So this looks like something like some trendy hipster would put in their backyard in Silver Lake or something. Infamous.